My God, look at all the people here. Just people sitting everywhere. It's ridiculous, man. Well, what do you expect? It's Rod Run. What's going on, guys? Been doing things. I've uh, been kind of busy. This thing is sexy. I don't know if I like a yellow, but supercharged. Yeah, this bitch is nice. This car is everywhere, yo. Check this thing out, man. See, there's just sports cars and everything here. But the traffic, man, the traffic is crazy. The only way you can get around is walking. Oh, look, there's a diner. Let's go over that diner. fire that up okay excellent so what we're going to do today is we're going to test this it's going to be this one versus this one oh yeah so basically you have 8th gen Intel versus 10th gen Intel hopefully this uh, turns out to be a very good event so what we got going on over here we have a it's an i5 8500 I think with 16 gigs of DDR4 2666 that's a, a new 5700 XT Oris motherboard you know NVMe drives decent little gaming computer I've been using it for you know a year or so now and it does perfect for me now we got this one so what we're going to do is we're going to test it we're going to test the green the the gamma build which is the green one we're going to test that one see what the numbers are and then we're going to let this one loose and see what the numbers are now i haven't overclocked this at all no overclocking basic everything i did get the drivers and some other things installed but we haven't done any type of tuning to it it's just an out-of-the-box run and I'm very curious to see how it goes down make sure to leave that like and subscribe if you're new and as always we appreciate you guys for watching make sure to subscribe leave a like do all of that good stuff as the camera goes completely out of focus but yeah intro So this is the first run on the Gamma build. No OC, no XMP profiles. <coughs> Sorry, kind of lame. Uh, you can see that <coughs> nothing's really working. It's all kind of below, and the score's not very good, being in the 40s. 
So, all right, well, let's go ahead and enable all of that, turn that back on, and then we run it again and see what happens. Hopefully everything works good for us and we have no big issues, no crashes. I guess that's what I mean by it. All right, so this was the Titan rig first run. No XMP, no nothing, just the basics. Um, simple scores, better than the first one. 86, 101, and 86. Those are decent, not bad. Hopefully we can get those 80s into the 90s with just doing a BIOS update and some simple um, overclocking. We're going to use MSI Afterburner to get the job done for both. Well, actually, I think the Gamma build relies on Trix Boost for that um, RX card. I think that's what I used to overclock that one. So, all right, let's... Uh, Let's get into the next situation. Okay, so we just ran both of the systems without any types of drivers or overclocks or anything like that. Um, I actually had to take the overclock off of the GPU and drop the, um, the XMP profile on the BIOS for the RAM um, because I wanna show you guys the importance of well knowing what the fuck you're doing knowing the importance of software and what simple programs and overclocking will do for performance boosting and the best way to show you guys that is with numbers you know what I mean that's the bet that's the best way of doing it so we're downloading MSI afterburner right now and then we're gonna go ahead and get it get the party started All right. <clears throat> get this uh, driver it's almost done it's what 18 seconds left so yeah so basically I just want to you know compare the two computers to each other uh, this is the the gamma build um, we're in MSI afterburner I'm not sure if this will actually work on this RX card uh, but we'll find out. If not, I'll just use Trick Boost to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a slight overclock on it. And then we'll just hit Apply. And we'll go from there. Um, but I'll just go ahead and give you guys the information now. It didn't work. It crashed. And I had to go to Tricks. So the first run was at 50, 87, 40. And our second run was at 54, 89, 43. So our score definitely went up with us turning XMP back on and overclocking the GPU by a little. And look, our scores have already gone up. You can see right here on the graphs that um, the percentages went up by significantly, especially on the memory and stuff. That did real well. Um, the card, I still have little issues with that, but it is what it is. The Titan rig. So the Titan rigs, the it first ran with nothing was an 87 a 101 and an 86 I'm actually hoping that we can beat that with a simple BIOS update okay so what we're doing now is we're doing a BIOS update excuse the noise the uh, the system still hasn't been purged so what you're actually hearing is air being moved and it's it's quite loud but um, I'll, I'm not worried about that right now I got to get other things fixed but anyway we are currently updating the BIOS version to a newer BIOS version I noticed that my current BIOS version was um, at the beginning of this month 42220 well I am now upgrading to 72220 it says right there version 1.10 to version 1.30 so hopefully this BIOS update and a little other tweaking will do us much better on our test benching scores. And this is very important to do. This is something that you have to do. Titan rig in front of us. 
This is the uh, MSI Afterburner, and we're going to overclock the memory uh, by a hundred and so percent, and we'll apply that, and then we'll see. We also turned on XMP, and we did the BIOS update. So let's see if we can get a better score than what was it, 86, 101, and like an 86. Oh yeah, look at that. Went up a full. 10% on both sides very nice see that see what a little what what just turning on a few programs and flipping a few switches does to performance it's insane look at those percentages 169% wow 104% wow graphics card that needs a little love uh, 101% for that for the CPU 17 computers perform better than mine, but that's okay. With a little tweaking and tuning, I am pretty sure that I can get 100% across all three boards. I want you guys to test your computers and leave your scores in the comments below. Let me know how well your scores did compared to mine. Um, once I get everything set, I'll get a better score. Thank you for watching, and I appreciate you guys. So these are the scores kind of broken down for you guys. I thought you might like them. See what the actual comparison is. Now the actual percentage increase is fairly small. But with time, tuning, and a little bit of patience, you can get a better result. And it does go to show you that a better graphics card does make all the difference. If I was to put a 2060 or a 2070 in both of those machines, I would get a way better score than what I got, you know, what it now. But I hope you guys liked the video. Um, like I said a minute ago, please subscribe, share us on Facebook. I want you guys to go to usertestbench.com and test your computers. 